I just asked this question on Twitter and I've been asking everyone that I know. What dollar amount makes you rich and what dollar amount makes you wealthy? And I'm not looking for the Bob Marley quote where he's like, you know, money doesn't matter, it's happiness, all that stuff. I get that and I agree with it, but I'm asking for a dollar amount and people refuse to fucking answer me. Well, I gave you mine right off the bat. Right, what was yours again? Five million. Five million was what? Five million was, you're, you're rich. Okay. And then for like, Anything over like 20 or 30 million dollars, I would consider you wealthy. I think five million dollars, without a doubt, you're rich to me. You're rich, yeah. And if you make a couple smart investments, like you said, if they're not fucking idiots, too, because people win the lottery and they start buying like thousand dollar chairs in their house or, so, or like, you know, yeah, yeah, a leopard, you're fucked. or some shit, which I I don't know how yeah. much those cost, but if I could afford one, I, I'd do this. I'd buy an exotic, game. that'd probably be one of my first purchases. If I had a big game. enough ceiling, which I think. I might, at the moment, I'd get a giraffe. Yeah. A pet giraffe? Hell yeah. Yo, imagine having a fucking giraffe. Pulling up with a giraffe, How too. How much could a giraffe possibly be? Like, 20,000? First of all, if you were like, yo, let's go in my backyard. And a fucking giraffe was out there? You're killing it. Oh my god, you're having sex with whoever that oh is. Oh my god, everyone's gonna be like, yo, I went what to this I guy's mean? house last night, he took me in his backyard, guess what he had? A fucking giraffe. A giraffe. A giraffe. On a leash. I know. You yeah. imagine you had like acres of land, so sometimes you couldn't see it, and you had to be like, hey. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do that. You know how like. <laughs> I, I always felt. Construction workers. That's could do the that? manliest whistle of all time. I can't. I can't. It's loud as shit. They I just know. go, hey. <laughs> or some people do it, and they just go like this. Yeah. <laughs> imagine you walk in your backyard, and it's so big, there's trees and stuff, so you can't really see it, so you call his name, and you do the whistle, and it just comes galloping out of the fucking woods. It's like, oh. Hey, I think Michael Jackson had a giraffe. He did it right. He did it right. He did some wrong stuff, you know, yeah, allegedly. I mean, well, yeah. Great music, though. Great, great moonwalk. Great music. Is this traffic right now? Yep. Oh, my fucking ass. And you know no one would tell you that that's a smart investment, except for me. <laughs> I'd be the only person to be like, yeah. Actually, I wonder if giraffes, like, appreciate in value. Yeah, probably. To a certain extent. You could make money off that giraffe. Like, if I buy a baby giraffe, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And then I raise it to like three years old. I don't know the lifespan on those fuckers, but like, if I raise it to like three years old, now we're talking like at nine, ten feet tall. I'm looking up giraffe lifespan. I could flip that. Yeah, I you could flip that. You could flip a giraffe. Hell yeah. I saw that to a zoo or like that dude on Instagram who, who like, Cuddles tigers and shit. I'm sure he'll he'll want a giraffe. A giraffe's life expectancy is between 20 and 25 years. I'll raise it to six then. Yeah. Get some really good formidable years so that when I see it in the wild, I can just run up to it and be like, "Yo, George." Yeah, and have one of those cool YouTube videos. But yeah. That thing will kill you though. No, no, no. It would just it would just lean on. It would go on its fucking arms like this, and then put its head down and wrap its neck around yeah. me. That'd be fire. You want to know? It would be. Yo, if I get killed by a giraffe. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna go out anyway, getting killed by a giraffe. Yo, fucking if fire. if a baby gets killed by a giraffe, you're like that baby lives a good life. Well, That's that brings me back to that that kid that got with the gorilla. That kid's got a great story for the rest of his life. Yeah. He's like, yo, this one time I fell in a gorilla pit, and it was dragging me around, and I had to kill it to save my life. And then. After it died, it got 10,000 votes in the fucking election. Great story. Also, a giraffe, birth height, take a guess. Four feet? Six feet. Six foot? Six foot, 150 pounds. Damn, that, that what are giraffe vaginas I like? I don't know, but that thing's coming out the womb ready to kick your ass. That thing's coming out hot. Which one of us would be a better Quidditch player? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I think I'd be all right. <laughs> I'd be nasty. Yo, I'm mad nice on a broom, though. I'd be, I'd be, I'll, I wouldn't even go after the snitch. I no. would, I'm tossing no. that shit through the rings, though. But I'm Puerto Rican, so, like, I've been around brooms longer than you. So, like, I'm nicer with it. That's true. Like, my, my broom handling, like, it's in my DNA. Like, I would smoke you. I'd be nice out there. You might, you might have just sold me. On yeah, that. yeah. I forgot about that. Defense wise. Yeah. You know? You'd be the dude with the thing that blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You ain't getting it by me. Got a Puerto Rican grandma. I've been I, sleeping since day one. <laughs> so Joe's gonna go buy like really expensive bowls and pans. No one's buying expensive anything. I'm going there. You're and going getting... to Bed Bath and Beyond. What does that mean? Yeah. They don't have cheap shit. It's not Gucci. I'm not getting fine china. 
Well, Bed Bath & Beyond is the poor man's fine china. I'll yeah. tell you that. Exactly. That's true. It is true, right? It's, I, I agree with So where would you go to get regular parts? Target. You know how far Target is? I gotta pay for gas. <laughs> You're already paying for a whole new fucking <laughs> kitchen at this point. I made penny out of vodka and then I put all the plates and the pots in the dishwasher and I forgot to run it and I live alone so I don't have a lot of dirty dishes so I forgot to run it for a couple of days and then when I opened it there was mold everywhere so I just fucking threw everything out. Yo, I have so many questions. Is hey, your full name Francis? Or Co. Francis Francis Cisco. Co. That's fire. My mom used to call me Cisco growing up. <laughs> oh my god. No way. <laughs> Every now and then she'd be like, Cisco! Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah, yeah! The night, so here's a fun fact. That was the first ever making of a music video on MTV, if you guys remember. Really? No, I don't. Yeah, the really? thong song. The night that that came out, I, it somehow that song motivated me to tell the girl that I liked in second grade that I liked her. Damn. <laughs> No idea. The correlation is non-existent. Um, you just like turned the TV off and was like, I'm gonna call her. How'd you tell her? Uh, well, there's the next fun story. So, it was ruined because someone else decided to tell my second grade crush that I liked her. Who's your second grade crush? Uh, Bridget Mondello. Let's go! And who it was that damn asshole? The person in the fucking driver's seat. I told her? Yeah! Oh! <laughs> no, that's not true. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, you, you can't just, you can't no, no, just no. do that. I, I went, you told me to I'm tell offended. her. I'm offended. All right, I'm sorry. I got my story wrong. You told me to tell her. I went up there. I was wearing a Bulbasaur t-shirt. <laughs> Never forget this. It was Ash with Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur. Your finest Bulbasaur t-shirt. Dude, collector's item. And I went and I was like, uh, I just want to let you know, uh, I like you. Instantly started crying. <laughs> and then later on that day, it was like the end of the day, I finally stopped crying. And... <laughs> It's the end of the day. And this asshole in the driver's seat, I go up to her and she's doing a crossword puzzle. And I was like, do you need any help with that? And he goes, oh, that's so cute. Boyfriend and girlfriend instantly started crying again. <laughs> Just on the dot. Well, I had a run in with Bridget Mondello once. She, like in fourth grade, she was like, I don't know what happened. She was mad at me for something. She's like, we're dropping first and last names. Oh, right? hell yeah. We I don't give a fuck. Bridget, I hope you're watching this. Um, but she was I had like, a, I had a run in with her once. <laughs> <laughs> no, because in fourth grade, I was doing something, I guess, that was pissing her off. She's like, I'm gonna tell on you. I'm gonna tell on you. Oh, wasn't that the worst? And I was like, and I was like, I don't give a shit if you tell on me. Fire. She told on me, bawling, crying. <laughs> <laughs> I care. You trust me, no. okay? She's made both of she you guys. She didn't give cry. a fuck. She, she, give made, a she made both of you guys. The only cry. woman yeah. on this planet. Bridget Mondello owns our ass. Yo, owns us. The yeah. only woman to make both of us cry. Yeah. Damn. Wow. That's, that's kind of fire. Though. It's so fire. If we see her right now in Bed Bath Beyond, I'm, I'll lose my fucking <laughs> mind. <laughs> You'll cry. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. The thing that like the, the Do you know about silverware that? goes in. The thing, thing the silverware holds in the silverware. dish. Silverware the in the silverware, dishwasher. In the dishwasher, the thing that holds them. I threw that out. Yeah, yeah, you're fucked. You have to call somebody Why about did, that. You didn't. Here's the thing. I'm not hand washing Can silverware at all. I'll, I'll keep throwing them out. I'll keep yeah. them. Bobby fucking Flay over here. I remember. Frankie once gave me a speech for 35 minutes about how to make scrambled eggs. He's like, you take it off the flame and then put it back on the flame. I'm like, shut the fuck up. First of all, <coughs> sorry, sorry that I like to have a little bit more of a cultured fucking quiz. Uh, uh, scrambled eggs. Culture. Yeah, I'm coming from this. the person, by the way, what he didn't tell you is that Penelope vodka, it was jarred sauce. That's another thing. He thinks he's, he's Italian. One time we, we, were, we had a Christmas party and we were making macaroni and cheese. Frankie on his high horse is like, I'm gonna make my own cheese sauce. Sucked. Sucked. First of all, no it didn't. Sucked. Second of all, unanimously sucked. You're making me sound like the best friend Sucked. Ever. Don't do this. Sucked. Stop. He makes bad cheese. No, I don't. The cheese sauce was amazing. Just because, oh, I make cheese sauce from scratch. What a bad person I am. Sorry, I like to eat things that are. How do you make cheese sauce from scratch? Yo, how much time you got? <laughs> you, got you start with a roux, all right? Okay. Simple, bro. You melt some butter, you get some flour in that bitch. Uh -huh. Let that shit come to a little bit. You go in, bam, mm. milk. Let that come up a little bit. It gets a little thick. Cheese, cheese, cheese. A couple different types of cheeses. We'll go cheddar. We'll go Asiago. We went pepper jack on that son of a bitch. And it was amazing. I mean, I, I'm sold. It was yellow water. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't no. thick at all. Don't listen to him. Coming from the guy that used jarred vodka sauce. It's great. That he somehow, you know how long it takes you to You know what jarred bowl? sauce is? A genius. Someone who's really you good know? at cooking <laughs> made it. And then I used it. You know how long it 
Yo, another time, we went to our friend's house and Frankie made chicken. It looked like breaded chicken. First because of all, that wasn't me, that was Espo. He'll put, tell you You that. put a whole bottle of oregano in it. He did that. He will tell you that was him. First of all, I love seasoning. I'm a seasoning so he, guy. He's like, oh, Vanilla Joe, what do you want to taste yeah. the chicken? Vanilla Joe, we go to Miami. Just we a little. To, we go to Miami, we go to a Cuban restaurant. Or well, what does Joe get? Oh, let me get chicken fingers. <laughs> Geek. <laughs> <laughs> I got the like, the thing that Eric and I got was like a $150 paella. <gasps> Dude, you paid all that money for a paella? No, no, no. Not happy about it. Yeah, honestly, I don't even know what a paella is. I don't know either. <laughs> it sounds comfortable, like you wear it. Yeah, this is like in every pizza restaurant like ever made. You know how like pretentious you need to be? Like, let me let me open my wine. Like, just use a. You hate people like that. I do. You absolutely do. If there are any people that are listening to it, I hate you. Well, they'd be watching, but. You know what I mean. I hear you. So, my mom has one. Oh. <laughs> Do you, oh, got it. Sick. Oh, is that a cat or a cow? A cow, I think. It's a cat? I think it's like, cow? like gravy. That's a cat. No way, it's a cow, dude. Let me see that cat. I think it's a lamb. Yeah, $14 for a fucking plate. You can, we can go make plates. Wait, this is $14? Now he wants to make plates from scratch. <laughs> Not just the cheese sauce. But the place. God forbid. What are you gonna build your own house? God forbid. You're gonna live in a log cabin? God forbid. I would actually really like to live in a log you cabin. You know who made this shirt? Probably like a little fucking Japanese kid. How do you feel about that? Made that from scratch. Feel good? Yeah. Okay. What happened to this? What happened? Yeah, there's someone, someone fucked that up. How badly did you want this fucking box? Someone blew the hips out of that box. Look at that. Look at that bowl. You someone, can't put cereal in that bowl. Dude, look at this. How are someone, you eating? Someone had sex with this. Yeah. Mugs. Have you seen such fucking idiots in your life? <laughs> no, I don't We know. can't even buy plates. This is going to sound like a weird question. When they say fine china, is that because it's like made in China finely? I don't know. You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> oh, 48 piece down That's here. Bad. It's made in China finally, 40 piece? 48 piece. What, are we getting chicken nuggets or fucking dishes? I don't know, you need 65 fucking utensils. You might you as do, well you do. Here's another thing. I throw out forks, constantly. <laughs> yeah, today, today I cleaned up his uh, apartment a little bit. I found a plastic bag with aluminum foil and, and, sick? and a banana oh. just on the floor. Oh, I got that yesterday. I forgot to eat the <laughs> Adulting is overrated, let's be mermaids. Are, who the fuck wrote that? A seven-year-old? So this one. Does this make me look engaged? I feel like if you drink out of a cup, like you have to do this. Yeah, like a cup like that. You're limping. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're limping. Like this person doesn't have a job. Oh no. <laughs> and this person? Anyone who drinks coffee like this yeah. works for public. Uh, successful? Successful trip? Uh, a three hundred and. $30 trip for sure. You also I don't think I've ever came into Bed Bath Beyond and not spent at least $250. I'm not even kidding. It's, it's usually like 18 candles that I'll buy that's expensive. <laughs> what about aren't there like man ones now? Like 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 fire and like beer. Beer and big titty. Yeah, beer and big titty candles. <laughs> <laughs> smells like beer and big fucking nipples. In Imagine beer. if you knew that smell, you're just like it smells like beer and big titties. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Imagine titties had a scent. It's like yo. Yeah. Yo. Someone got big titties in here? <laughs> They definitely do. If you can uh, have your own candle flavor, what would it be, Danny? It would be, um... Mine would for sure be like... Mine would be 5%. This wasn't about you, I asked him. Sorry. It would be, it, I would call mine, uh, straight fire. Straight fire? What would it smell like? Straight fire. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Joey, what about you? It Besides would scare everyone like... <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get the fuck out of the house! Yo! Do you think if they made sex flavor? Yeah, they have. They, they have. have that. They have. They probably have sex candles. What I'm saying is, like, if they made like titty candles, I'd buy like with, like in the shape of titties. No, no, no. Oh, Ooh, like the nip? with the wick coming yeah, out through the, the nip. Wick coming out of the nip. That'd be sick. Wick nips. You know what would suck? Dick scented candles. Yeah. Do you I don't smell right now, but I could definitely get. Stink. Oh, I can get a good stink working. Oh hell yeah. Do you trim your armpit hair? Nah, I do. But mine's not, I don't have a lot of armpit hair. Oh, you one of those hairless wonders? My hair is all literally from the waist down. Damn, that's, I wish. <laughs> all of my hair from Your the waist down. Your asshole probably sucks. Yo, awful. Becca the other day, like, saw my butt and was like, oh, you have no hair on it. I was like, from what you see. Yes, yeah. so, open the door. Yeah. 
Do you, do you ever find her here's hair? the church? Here's the steep. I knew you were going Open with that. the doors. And here's, here's all the, the hairy asshole. Here's the hairy yeah. asshole. Exactly. Does he have an advertising for up? What the fuck did you just say? Advertising. <laughs>